So, um, that was my intro. Oh, uh, I forgot about this. There we go. All right. Uh, medic gun mount changes. Let's get this started. Uh, solemn valve. Fuck that. Oh, ten percent. It swings slower. Speed. Shit. Not worth equipping. There you go. I don't understand. Here's my number one complaint about the solemn valve. What the fuck are more people equipping it now, as opposed to when it wasn't the way it was? Like, why did it get nerfed? And why is are more people equipping it? Like, I'm so confused. I am, I am bewildered as fuck. But, but uh, aside from that, uh, vaccinator, vaccinator. It's uh, it's it's I I suppose. Uh, let's kick start with a few things. One, you can stack. And stack the resistances mid uber that's it's pretty good i mean right click you get like your freaking bullet res you could have all three at the same time and if you get hit by all three at the same time you're gaining a lot of health back but then here's my main concern when do you ever get hit by all three at the same time <laughs> bullets Explosives and flames. You have to be in a pretty tough situation to be hit by that, like at all times, for you to make use of that. Even even two of them is rather. It's more common, but it's rather uncommon in comparison. And uh, only 2.5 seconds of that is. Mm, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of rough. On top of this, uh, do you build Uber? From overhealed patients, rather slowly, like 66% slower. That's that's much slower than just like I'm. I honestly don't think it's a viable uh, medigun replacement for the Kritzkrieg or the default medigun. Because I mean, who needs freaking 75 resistance when you have 100% resistance for eight seconds? Or I don't know, maybe freaking crits to like fight off the enemy it's I don't know it's just there are too many scenarios like even with this scenario I'm I'm like fighting I'm like trying to keep all those heavies alive and if I just had one uber to destroy all the enemies that were hitting all the heavies it wouldn't have mattered like there's no real like thing you could push with for this like with the uber you could push with like you're invincible Enemies will run from you, or they'll just be the bane to your existence. I mean, you'll be the bane to their existence. <laughs> and with Crits Creek, you do an absurd amount of damage for a limited time. Having 75% resistance to any given type, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's not for me, but um, I guess I am to leave an opinion on this. Uh, what I can say is that it's alright, it's, again, it's not a replacement, but it's still pretty decent, and if you actually, like, want to, like, try to play Medic, this is the gun you're gonna have to go for. Um, I understand Valve is trying to get players to get used to other sorts of features from other guns, because... I think Valve wants people ready for matchmaking, not just like, oh, there's a couple people, like, oh, veteran players, they're pretty good, or they're, like, goofing around. That's, like, the two different types of veteran players you have. It's not something they want to take into matchmaking. What they want to take into matchmaking is players that actually know what they're doing. Do the heavies know that they should, like, jump around the corner and then, like, have their barrel in the air? Instead of just peeking the corner, holding down their barrel, it's it's not as good. Do the medics know that you can like use the Uber saw and like healing as many patients as possible is better than just pocketing one person because that won't get you far. I think this vaccinator is proving that because you're sixty six percent slower if you're uh, healing an, a max overhealed patient. So I guess Valve's taking that, but I I don't think they should do it with weapons. Maybe like certain game modes, like maybe they should have a game mode that's like that, but not these weapons. Like I don't think they should make a weapon terrible enough for players not to use it. 
And that's just my general opinion on the vaccinator. What I am going to say for a recommendation for the vaccinator is to keep the bullet resistance up front. And that is your main resistance type. You can stack a mid uber. That's fine. If you're watching what you're healing patients being healed by, then do that. Just give them that resistance type. But by default, set yourself to bullets. The scout, the soldier, the pyro, not the demo, the heavy, the, the, yeah, the engineer too. Medic, I'm not sure if the Crusader's crossbow falls, or neoguns fall under bullet. I believe they do. But, uh, medic, sniper, and spy. Eight of the nine classes use bullets. Default to bullets. Even even if it's not mainly prioritized by all classes, because no medic mainly uses their primary, no spy mainly uses their revolver, no um, engineer mainly uses their pistol, even though their sentries are bullets on their own. Just, but please, there's so many bullets coming at you, it's by default that you should be using bullet resistance. That is like my only, th that's the only thing I can really say about the vaccinator aside from just healing and stacking and watching what damage is going to your te uh, teammates. That's all I'm going to give. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. As always, have a nice day.